Hello everyone. Good evening. Good evening. No? Uh, Good evening. Last, last session, sinabi ko nga, nirap up ko yung five, five session na, no? Uh, tungkol sa young adults. And uh, I said that what uh, we will be doing next are trying to look at uh, some models no, of young adult ministry. So what I did was search the internet and I came across some models at ito yung unang ipipresent ko sa inyo, no? what I wish I knew when beginning a single adult ministry. This is more on single adult ministries um, model. So discovering the keys that unlock the answers. And this is uh, presented by Dennis Frank. Okay. Okay, they will look at uh, types of single adults who attend uh, young adult ministries. Uh, the first category is uh, never those who were never married, which means uh, mostly ages from 18 to 35. And then there are those who are formerly married. Okay, it can be from ages 20 to 65. And those who are widowed and therefore now living a single life, all ages, 25 to 65. And there are single parents, no? mostly ages 20 to 50. And of course, those who are separated, which means they are legally married, but uh, living a single life. So these are single adults. And the vast age span is 19 to 65 years. But of course, we know that uh, when we talk about young adult ministries, we're talking about people who are only until uh, 35 years and around the, that, okay? So this, these single adults have varied interests. They have varied physical abilities. They have varied preferences, of course, because of their different statuses. And of course, varied opinions from their different backgrounds or experiences in life, okay? And then the common need and interest of married and single adults, okay? These are the topics that uh, get interest, no? Single adults, salvation, okay? Pagkakaligtas, uh, no? Bautismo. Now, this one, discipleship, is a big uh, thing among young adults. Obedience, uh, the prayer life or the inner spiritual life. Then, of course, commitment. No, those, especially those who have failed no, relationships, the, they want to look at uh, a new look at commitment. No? And then the Bible teaching. What does the Bible really say? And this is common to all Christians. And of course, spiritual growth. Okay, so these are the interests. Uh, the common interests of single adults, all ages. Okay, so number one is spiritual growth. Okay, second is singleness issues, the issues of singleness. Okay, and then friendships with same and opposite sex, okay? Of course, single adults need relationships, no? not because they're single that they don't have, they should have relationships with the same and opposite sex. Of course, I, actually this is very important for single adults. Money management, okay, because they live alone, singly, I mean. And then understanding sexuality. What does it mean to be, uh, what does sexuality mean for single young adults? and uh, developing identity, stress management. There are stresses that only single persons experience, coping with changes just as they grow older, you know, and setting goals. So what are the goals of single foot as a young adult? They have career issues, of course, you know, that's common among adults, self-esteem, Okay, especially in our culture where there is a kind of stigma attached touch to being single and being adult in dating, uh, premarital education, and understanding emotions, 
Now that's important. So like psychological well-being of a young adult and learning to risk, okay? learning to love or learning to love again and acceptance you know, or being accepted as such and a sense of guilt if and for not for remaining single. Okay. Next. Financial issues. Yes. Of course there is a that's a also a common for single persons financial issues if they don't have stable jobs, but also when they have jobs and many depend on them simply because they're single. <laughs> the family. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, the there are unique needs and interests of single adults, like uh, especially those who are who have been widowed or or single parents that's rearing kids alone. Okay. So that's for single parents, and then shared parenting. Okay. And then these are for the widowed or the, for the separated relating to ex-spouse. And then time away from kids. You know? uh, how can you have your a time away from your kids? Then extra financial issues. This one, learning to forgive. Uh, especially those who are separated. Learning to forgive. And then learning to trust. And dating or dating again, and uh, divorce recovery or separation recovery, grief recovery. There's always that dimension. Then learning to risk if no, they they want no to be married again, or fitting in. You know, there's a kind of marginalization for people who are single parents in society. So how do you fit in? How do they fit in? Finding my new role no, as a single parent. Depression, no? Now this also no, uh, is common for separated people. Managing anger, yes. Blending families, okay? So, Somehow there's that problem of how to blend families when you are single, uh, a single parent, and relating relating to married adults as a single parent. Okay. All right. When you try to uh, establish a model, there are some key questions that you have to ask. Okay. Who are we trying to reach? Okay. Sino yung mga adults na tinitry nata, na i-reach out natin? And then why are we trying to reach them? Na, bakit natin sila tinatry na i-reach? Okay. Of course, we know that because we are so concerned about their situation. What are the demographics of our church? Gaano ba karami ang mga yung different categories ng young adults? Okay, sabi natin dati na maraming young adult na wala sa church. Pero sa loob ng church or sa role of membership, anong demographics natin? How many are young adults? How many are single young adults? How many are married young adults? How many are a single parent, young adults, you no know, things like that, and then compare that to the demographics of the community. Okay, mas ano ba mas marami bang young adults na single or karamihan ng adult sa komunidad eh may asawa na. Uh, so you look at your community and look at uh, the demographics. The uh, what uh, what are the statuses of young adults in the community, okay? So what resources do we have now, okay? Ano yung mga, uh, meron tayo for the ministry of young adults? Uh, do we have people ministering to young adults? Do we have facilities? Do we have budget for that? And especially, do we have materials <laughs> that are appropriate 
for young adults no or especially single young adults no madalas wala tayo kasi materials kaya ganyan so what resources do we need to get from those enumerated people facilities money materials what do we what resources do we need to get dahil wala tayo okay and then who else is doing what we want to do okay maganda yung ano eh makipag uh, resourcing makipag connect with other din- same denomination no mga uh, ibang local churches what are they doing and other denominations no it is nice to to, to know who, who else is doing what you want to do meron nang siguro may mga programming na or style na ginagawa ng iba kaya as you start your young adult ministry, it is good to look at what others are doing. Okay. When you design a young adult ministry, you can design it according to age. So yung age group, no? yung 18 to 25 or 23 to 25 college age. Or the generation X, 24 to 37, Gen X. Or you ma single again, 35 if there are 35 plus na yan, okay? But there are 30 plus who are single again, no? Yung, yung na balo, na balo, na widow, or no? na, na kipaghiwalay, no? That's a, uh, uh, and then there are mature single, which of course is not, our much of our concern because those are they're single but not young adults <laughs> okay or you can design your ministry ministry according to need okay sige here you yeah, by need so yung i i think we discussed that uh in our previous sessions sessions the halimbawa single parents you, know, you can have a group of single parents a small group of single parents that uh, they and then make a program design a ministry for them and then or separated uh, the separated parents uh, with who have children okay and those who are without kasi magkakaiba naman ang needs ng mga yan so you can design ministry separately for the groupings by need now uh, it's also nice uh way of programming by categorizing them according to need. Okay, iba rin siyempre yung single na talagang single na hindi pa nag-asawa. Okay, now, ministry group group models. Now, these are the group models that this this, uh, presenter wants us to to look at. And uh, actually, you can design your ministry by your purpose or mission for young adults. I think the most predominant now, ah, press sa uh, observation ko, ngayon, ang present na ginagawa ng UMIF natin is uh, the outreach model. Kaya ang ginagawa nila, the pinakabuhay na mga programa nila yung medical, optical, uh, dental, evangelistic, and legal. Yan. I think buhay na buhay ang UMIF natin. Kasi, kasi ang program nila, or yung mga nag-organize sila ng relief, operations yan, pagka may mga nasunugan, may mga baha, ganyan, they are more active in that, in fact they contribute financially ganyan, tapos ipapadala nila i- they course it sometimes to the Asuncion Paris, yan yan mga social agencies but I think uh, mostly what we have uh present is the outreach model and then there's the discipleship model this is the which is what we want to have actually uh, sana yung, yung ating young adult ministry is the discipleship model we will look at that actually and then the social model no, which is may mga young adults na medyo social activities uh, buhay na buhay sila kung meron silang parties meron silang social events like uh, ang favorite nilang gawin yung mga 
Uh, dati-dati yung ballroom dancing, mga ganyan. Or, or something recreational, no? Yung they go together for fitness, mga ganyan na, ano, mga, ang tawag doon, uh, TikTok, or, or uh, ito yung mga dati-dati yung mga exercise na mga, ano, they group, uh, they come together to do, ano, you know, physical exercises. And then we have the discussion model, which uh, looks at issues, you know, looks at issues and discuss them. The education model is more on the like membership class, you know, which is uh, looking at our basic Christian beliefs and then fostering on other issues that young adults. And then of course, the last is a combination, which of course we want to do. You know, Kasi to keep the organization alive of young adults, you want a combination no? ng iba-iba dito sa outreach. So let's look at them no, one by one. Ayan. It is, is the outreach model. The outreach model is topical teaching on personal issues, discussion opportunities on small group, yun, small and large group. And then there's a informal seating table. Yan ang setting niya, yung sa outreach. And then there's extended fellowship time, no? Uh, dahil, siyempre, this is outreach. Meron kayong, uh, ano, interaction later on. And then there's a light, short praise and worship. Yan usually yung ginagawa natin evangelistic pagka, no? Uh, yung mga young adults. And then refreshments provided helpful to the fellowship, no? May pamirienda, no? Then many, many are people involved in the meeting no? because this is an outreach program. Yung mga magbibigay ng services no? sa outreach. And then also, the, and this is our, uh, you organize the people who will attend. Of course, there should be good, uh, let me see, uh, campaign no? for people to get involved. No? And then prayer, short times of few of prayer in you know, a few involved. No, pwedeng yung mga iba sa outreach sa kakaroon ng uh, mga ganyan kailangan ng konting uh, prayer na may mga nag-share sila ng problema. And this, and this uh, outreach model attracts mature, immature Christians and unbelievers. Dahil this one, karamihan umatin sa mga outreach, yung mga may pangangailangan. And Kung model yan, yung mga, yun yan natin, yung may problema sa health, no? sa, sa, yun, sa eyesight, sa dental, sa legal din, no? ganyan. And it attracts, attracts many visitors because it, it is a service uh, that, that addresses the need of people. And it functions well in neutral, non-threatening settings. Yung bang... Magbibigay lang tayo ng serbisyo, nag-outreach lang tayo sa kanila. Hindi tayo intentionally ng, ng poprosilite o yun, ng, yung gano'n. It, it, it is not really, it, it is more on helping people. No? And therefore, it, it function well when it's neutral and non-threatening. Walang, walang may mga, o no strings attached. So, the frequency may be weekly to monthly, baka masyadong ano yung weekly, yung monthly siguro, that's feasible. So the young adult ministry of outreach, if it outreach model is, uh, yun, uh, it's really parang bent on people, social workers, dentists, uh, health uh, or paramedical professionals, doctors, mga ganyan, and lawyers, those who are able to help or reach out people in their need. No? This is the outreach model. Uh, Napaka-methodista kasi yan eh. No? Kasi uh, ang isang kamay natin talaga, for half of our uh, identity as Methodist is really ministering to the poor and the needy. No? Now that's a very Wesleyan uh, no? uh, emphasis on ministry. So the outreach model, which is, like I said earlier, the predominant ngayon, no? 
parang ang problema lang sa outreach model ay buhay lang tayo kung meron programang ganyan. No? The organization doesn't really exist. Uh, parang hindi na may maintain. No? Kung outreach lang ang model ang kagamitin sa kanya. And of course, there are many young adults also are not able to participate. Si wala silang resources to give. No? Limited uh, ang kanilang resources to give. But they can always help uh, in, in some other ways, volunteering, uh, in, in doing some other jobs when there is an outreach uh, service. Uh, no. uh, so the outreach model no, is one, like I said, that is, have been, has been uh, predominant in our young adult ministries. Okay, we go to the next model. Okay. This is the discipleship model of which I feel we should be establishing. No? Ito yung hinahanap talaga natin na model ng ministry for young adults. Okay? Ito yung ano niya, uh, these are the characteristics of a discipleship model. Okay? Yung Bible study oriented, Bible books, and spiritual topics. So here in the discipleship model, you cannot do away with Bible study groups. Okay? So young adults should be involved in Bible study groups in the discipleship model. Dapat meron sila. Okay, in fact, sa atin, dahil tradition, sa tradition natin bilang mga metodista, now we should have a Sunday school group for young adults on Sundays. Okay? Kahit konti, mag-umpisa lang tayo sa konti. Or two or three are gathered in my name. No? And then, uh, but we should be faithful in in uh, conducting these Bible studies for young adults so that other young adults will have opportunity, open the door for them no, to study the Bible in Sunday school and no, Bible, small Bible study group. Okay. Now, if you have not started them, in fact, start with training, training young uh, adults to lead their Bible studies. Okay. Or you can start with the staff, no, isa sa mga pastor, o jamonita, sa magbisa. But like I said, let the young adults own their program because that's the most effective way for young adults to to really start their groups. And then discussion and small groups, no? Ito, ito yung, uh, they can discuss no, many issues that they face, no? Like I said, according to need, or they, they have issues that they want to discuss. It can be a, a small group discussion or it can be a large group discussion if they have monthly meetings. No? Maganda kasi kung yung mga relevant topics ang sa kanila ang ipapadiscuss mo you can even ask a, I mean invite a, just a speaker who is authoritative no tapos yan natin sila like for example single but not alone mga ganyan na topic maganda no and then you have a praise and worship of course there's a praise and worship part no in the discipleship program no, para hindi naman palagi na lang discussion every time you can all you can have praise and worship uh, session and prayer various types of prayer ito yung prayer partnerships or uh, yeah napaka importante yung prayer part partnerships no among young adults no and then the group interaction with teacher during teaching no well of course we encourage that the teacher is a facilitator, but uh, there should be group, uh, good group interaction. No? And then short fellowship time, important ito, no? No, in programming, parang young people din, na, nandiyan yung fellowship time. Iba rin talaga din, lalo na kung single young adults, it's nice. No? It's nice to be, have this, nurture this relationship during fellowship time. No? Yung friendships na yan. In fact, yan ang nagsususted sa mga single young adults, yung relationships nila, mga friendships. Attracts strong and maturing Christians. Of course, because this is discipleship, uh, 
those who are really uh, intentional in growing uh, in their Christian life. No, ay talagang magiging ano yan, uh, magiging mainstay sila. They will, they will stay. They will, they will really be their um, their presence will be there because they, they they are attracted to the discipleship model. And then, of course, it does not attract many visitors and believers, no? Yung mga hindi gaanong seryoso sa spiritual life nila, or maybe some of them are not really believers, no? They are unbelievers. Then we understand that they... Uh, but we try our best, actually, to make our discipleship model attractive so that even those no, who are unbelievers no, can be attracted. Then refreshments, okay? Refreshments may be provided, but not necessary. But of course, these are young adults. They have the resources. <laughs> they have the resources. Balik muna tayo sa discipleship model, okay? And then the location. The location could be a church. No? The ministries na discipleship na model can be in church. They can be in at home. Or it can be places of work or other venues. No, because in young adults, they go to the market. They come in and sell restaurants, some places because many of them can afford, you no, know, actually to host. You no, know. and the frequency can be weekly to monthly. So the discipleship model is one that we encourage. You no, know. sana ano yun yun to. Uh, Tingnan yung mabuti itong discipleship model because it's it is one that we want to pursue uh, talaga in our in our local church because we want the local uh, young adults to be immersed you know, in the Christian life and grow as mature Christians. Okay, we go to the next model. The social model, okay? The social model of young adult ministry. Now, many types of social and recreational events. May na sabi na ako kaya na may ano ba yun? May marami yung adults na yun nagmivit together na magdagdag social social dancing, maganyan recreation yung common interest nila fitness exercises yun yung mga yun. They come together every Saturday morning for jogging, for ganja, no. And then this one attracts unbelievers, immature and mature Christians, because of course it's a more antandan to the social life, more more emphasis is developing the social life, the social social relationship. Okay. Nayan, even unbelievers, no, even the immature, no, are attracted, and it attracts visitors as well, no. Atirate nakarot ng ano yan, ng fad ng ballroom dancing, ayaw mga ganon. Or kuminsan mga parties, these are ang social model is a more on the mga social events like Valentine's, Christmas, mga ganyan na mga events, no? mga birthday parties, kung uh, monthly birthday parties, to, uh, these are the social type. And then the teaching is rare and devotional type, if ever. No? Hindi walang teaching, actually, bira yun, if ever. And of course, prayer and devotionals, you no? Are minimal, okay? Kaya praise and worship then, simply because this is not geared, no, for praise and worship. It is rare, if ever, and even discussion. Walang gaano ng discussion. Talagang it's more recreation, recreation, no activities recreational, and location, various settings and types, no. Sige, tara, magkayayaan, mag-outing, no, ganyan, or long weekend, pupunta sa Boracay, pupunta sa, ganyan, no? No, these are, these are bonding types of, um, this social model is a bonding type model. And then the frequency can be weekly to monthly. And of course, sometimes this can be costly, no? Magastos. <laughs> And the consider the target age, the refreshment, syempre, No, 
its usual end of them. No? Dahil uh, social activities come often with food. No? Ayan. This is the recreation and party model, the bonding model. No? Pero importante din yan, especially for young adults and especially for single young adults. It's nice no, for them to be able to to establish relationships in a social model that is a ministry uh, of the church. Okay? Now, this is the educational model. The educational model is uh, teaching concentrated. There is praise and worship, light and brief. Now, they can start with a praise and worship that is light and brief. And then our devotion, and then there's teaching. You know, you know uh, when I was a college student, UP, every Friday, there yung ano talaga, big group, big group uh, lectures, Friday lectures, and tawag namin, and many of us attend because these are the relevant topics of the time. It can be personal, it can be the social uh, topics, no. Like it can be political topics, you know, like uh, mga who are good uh, candidates for presidency, mga ganyan, no? It can be, it can also be a half day to day and a half. It can be a series, a three to eight weeks series of teaching. Now, like I said, it can also be a membership class you know, for young adults. Now, there are personal and spiritual topics. These are discussion, large and small groups, of course, because it's, it's educational. This is prayer, short and brief, one to several involved, and visitors are attracted to this. If your topics are, are really relevant, no? like for example, noon sa intervarsity, Nietzsche, why he was not a Christian, Marlon, and no, those who are into philosophy would, would really be interested. No? or surprised by joy or mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis, no? a presentation of that no? is very interesting even to visitors. But of course, because we know, of course, C.S. Lewis you know, is uh, noted. No? Uh, siya yung, uh, yung mga Narnia series ng movies, eh, siya uh, nakabase sa mga libro niya. And then it, this one attracts immature and mature Christians. And the location can be church rooms, neutral locations, no? because this is educational, it can be, no? but uh, mostly it can happen in the church educational building. No? And then frequency two to four months, no? No? and refresh phones are helpful for fellowship. So the educational model, you know, training model, workshop model, no, ito yun. Yung mga educational model tara yan. This belong here. No? So it's also good, especially those young adults or, or marami young adults talaga na yun ang quest nila to understand our faith better. And especially those who are undergoing uh, changes in life. No? They, they, they really have questions that they want answered. Okay? So we go to the next. This is the discussion model. No, ito yung more on na uh, sharing and discussion. Uh, teaching is rare, but discussion is there. No, yung even it's organized uh, around topics of interest no? where people can share. And so the discussion, that the discussion, there's a uh, these attract visitors because. The discussion is more on on matters that they want discussed, no, not necessarily a Bible study, but more a discussion. And then the prayers will be short and brief, and it, it attracts immature and mature Christians. The location can be church rooms and neutral settings, and uh, frequency is weekly to monthly, and reception refreshments are. Uh, health for and fellowship. Itong educational and discussion model ay magka uh, let me see, they're similar. Mag, Magka-partner sila. <laughs> Magka-partner yan. Yung discussion and educational model. Mas marami nga lang input na, yung ano, 
your educational model and the discussion is more on the participant themselves no as uh, giving inputs no because of course this is more on sharing the sharing uh, model all right next uh, next model is the it's a combination of all of it, all of this like i said now it's not nice to just uh, No, like ngayon, kaya medyo hindi ka ano ano yung young people, uh, young adults natin, dahil it's only focused on the uh, outreach model, no? So, sa akin, maganda yung, yung, yung main emphasis is the discipleship model plus the, the educa educational, no? recreational or the social yung ganun, combination of them so that the the program will be balanced and yet it is intentionally uh, reaching out to young adults and uh, uh, responsive to the needs of young adults and uh, build it in stages you know? So the wait till you have leadership. So you should have a leadership training for young adults first. And these young adults will be the ones who will organize, then who will plan the program and organize. It will be young adult led and young adult uh, program, uh, planned and program implemented. You know, so that it will really be a young adult ministry by young adults for young adults and with young adults because of course the church leadership should be involved also no uh, yung concern ng ng uh, uh, clergy people and uh, uh, church officials should be there so it will be a ministry with young adults as well and then wait till you have the resources it yung resources you should have a clear vision yung sinasabi ko dito, you should have a clear model of what you want to pursue or a, or a combination of the models. And then you should have the rooms and facilities, where, you know, and then how much, you know, and then what are materials and resources. And resource for some. But of course... So this is the uh, the combination model to plan a total ministry, which of course is is the best no option that we want no for our young adults. This combination model. Okay. My, okay. Ito yung location, no, on grounds, benefits. Itong benefits, no, if you do it in church, no, what are the benefits? More people are exposed to your church and less storage problems because you, of course, own the property and then less clean up and transport your tables because, of course, they are there and you have also your church uh, custodian to to uh, prepare it, more access to tables, props, no, and less time finding a meeting room. So, ito, maganda yung young adult ministries na ang uh, gaganapin sa loob na ng church compound no and yeah, that's all the benefits no? <clears throat> and then next okay ito totally paren less risk of losing the meeting room sempre dahil ilala ilalaan doon sa ano sa church then there's no cost and few requests to announce other churches about events no and more exposure of the ministry to your church. Mas makilala din nun yung adult yung church ninyo. No? Kasi kadalasan niya, sabi natin, maraming yung adults na medyo uh, mailap sila sa church. Kaya maganda na rin na kung sa loob ng church gaganapin yung ministry at yung mga activities para na mas mas mamfamiliarize sila at lalapit ang loob nila sa church. Okay, next slide. Yan, ito naman ang benefits ng off-grounds, yung other locations. Nibawa, kung recreational model yan, na, hindi naman maganda kung minsan na sa church lang. No? Walang facilities ang church para doon sa, sa mga ibang ano, 
uh, social activities like parties. No? So there's more community exposure because of course you want to attract, people, to attract people and then attracts more unbelievers due to the neutral setting. No? There are young adults who are also suspicious na, naku, gagawin tayong ito dista ng mga yan. <laughs> okay. But of course, no, when you do the young adult ministry, your concern is more on the life of young adults. Of course, you are interested in their spiritual life, but it doesn't mean you have to convert them to become Methodist. No? So attracts more believers who do not have a single ministry at their church. No? So yung single ministry no, ay maganda rin sa labas, no? where they are exposed to others. And then attracts more children of single parents to transport your to your church for Sunday school. Attracts more children of single parents to transport to your church for Sunday school. And it's easier to build a citywide influence and image because, of course, it happens in the community, in community settings. Then uh, uh, sometimes you can even ask the, the, the municipal government, the LGU, <laughs> the local government, to, if you like hold it in a barangay hall or a, or uh, so the government facility, then you should have a good ministry for it. No? And then it's sure to build relationship with other pastors, no, because it's not based in your local church, and then less denominational hangat in people's minds due to the neutral setting. Hindi na na denominational ministry ito, and more flexibility with schedule of course because you will be renting a place or again an arranged uh, and any size church could sponsor the ministry and easier for several churches to sponsor together when it's off grounds no pwedeng no uh, ecumenical ang dating sa isang neutral setting okay Ito yung labels, no? I don't know how you want to look at this, no? May mga labels, no? Uh, yung ibang mga yung adults, ayaw nila yung Lonely Hearts Club, no? Lonely Hearts Club na label because many of them will claim, oh, no, I'm single but I'm not lonely, no? no? Hindi nila teams yung, yung lonely, I'm Mr. Lonely. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it can also be ito. Mag, uh, in the, I, don't, I don't know, pero pag nakakakita ako sa internet nitong dating market, ayaw ko din yung ano, organization na tawag eh, label eh, dating market. Sabi nila, ay, yung yung adult ministry na yan, dating market yan, pagkahanap lang din <laughs> ng boyfriend at girlfriend. Or, <laughs> there's also the label na hospital. No? Yan yung, ano, yan yung mga may problema lang sa buhay ang mga atin dyan. No? And, of course, there's this uh, church, church label. No? That's, uh, well, of course, no. When you say Umbiaf or Yumaya, then necessarily that's a church uh, label. And then place of four ministry uh, uh, label. Yung yan ay, like kagayan natin, mga model, yung M-O-D-E-L na, na outreach, uh, yan, naging tatakhen ng yung adults. Eh, no? But uh, way back when I was a young adult, uh, I attended the, I was a student then, a graduate student, and we had a group, a Friday group. <laughs> Friday group, yung Thank God it's Friday group. No, talagang from Friday, meron, may, may happening talaga. I mean, no? So that's, uh, yun yung, yan yung TGIF group. No? Meron din yung grupo namin nung sa seminarians, no? o, di, mga single ako, single pa ako nung nasa seminary ako. Eh, yung adult ako. And, uh, we had this FOJ, Young Friends of Jesus. No, my friends of Jesus tell me, no, no, we were not necessarily spiritual, but we bonded together as young adults because we were friends of Jesus. Maganda. No, this are potential label. No, next. Na yung ba yung ending? Ayan, healing and wholeness. Okay. Ayan, tingnan natin itong ano, healing and wholeness uh, na model. No? 
See, it's a spiritual, emotional, uh, relational, physical, no? Parang hospital model to, no? Yung healing and wholeness uh, model, no? Now, there's an emergency room, no? Sometimes people need help right now, no? Emergency. And then, kasi marami din yung adult na ganit. Yung bang, yung bang haliwa, yung kahihiwalay lang, no? Parang they're like in a uh, emergency situation, no? Ganun. And then mobility and transiency reasons, no? For one is uh, 50% turnover every six to 12 months, no? So when you have a ministry, look at that, na, look at the turnover, no? Kuminsan nga, because the program doesn't really parang attract or what they expected, then there is a turnover. No, dito ang sinasabi niya, half, 50% turnover. No, they move, they marry, they break up, or sometimes they uh, look at the program as too spiritual, or if it's a social model, it's not spiritual, or no one interests them, no? Wala na, nothing interests them. Uh, the conviction, they it doesn't quite jibe with their conviction, and they are wrong ages, no? <laughs> and not okay with singleness, and biases toward others, ganyan, no? And uh, this one is uh, unfor unfortunate, no? They're, when they encounter unfriendliness, no? And they're unfriendly yung grupo, no? Or they are offended, no? Medyo na-touch yung sensitivities nila, or they are, are involved in other area of church, no? Maybe they are involved in another area of church ministry, or and sometimes they have a different philosophy that's not really parang, uh, compatible with the Christian faith and philosophy. There may be atheists or agnostics, ganyan. Okay? Don't worry about it. Work at closing the back door okay when you see this uh parang, you know, the, this uh, very high turnover then work at closing the back door it means again prevent them from leaving by you no know, looking at what they uh they are looking for an offer something more attractive or what they need or what they desire and then minister to people while they are there Yung bang presence ng church should be really, really be felt. Important yan eh, no? Because all of us need that kind of care, kind of attention, no? Yung bang pansin <laughs> para hindi KSP ang feeling ng mga iba at aalis sila dahil, no? Kulang sa pansin. No? So minister to people while they are there. Okay? Oh, okay, this one, no? openness and honesty, okay? Single adults tell it like it is, a frank, bold honesty she needed on relevant issues. No? Maganda pag ano eh, yung uh, laying people lay cards on the table, especially kasi yung adults na rin naman sila, hindi nila sa young people na may mga drama-drama, no? Marami rin drama ang young adults, but it's nice to have uh, openness. Telling it like it is. And of course, because of that, there's the, also the counseling. No? The counseling, spiritual, relational, emotional, psychological. And no, if you cannot handle it, refer to qualified individuals, referral no, when necessary. So, of course, uh, there are many, we discussed in previous sessions, the many uh, stresses and problems that young adults face in their different uh, statuses in life. So they need counseling. Okay, next slide. And then establish relationships with Christian counselors for referral. And this one is very important. No? Develop healthy friendships. It's not a, it's not a dating <laughs> uh, how you call it, dating organization. Or, uh, so 
but the the probably the biggest need is for friendships. Yung mga young adults talaga kailangan talaga nang na BFF, no? best friend forever. Yung tinatawag natin na soulmate na yung bang kahit na nag-asawa na minsan very very close pa rin sila sa best friend nila. Of course, no? Because yun yung relationship na kakapag-sustain, no? It then provide many opportunities na uh, and wholeness comes through healthy relationship. In fact, especially for single people, if you are able to sustain a very wholesome friendship, then you are a very good candidate for marriage. Pag yung mga friendships mo, eh, ayan, so and so, so so, I don't think you can be a good spouse kasi hindi ka marunong mag-sustain ng isang friendship. Uh, and then, there are two types of people, no, the lifter, the spiritually or emotionally strong are the lifters, no? And there are also the leaners, no? They lean on, they lean on other people, no? Ito yung mga spiritually or emotionally weak, laging dependent, dependent, ganyan. Hindi na ako pupunta kung hindi ako, hindi ka pupunta, ganun. Naku, bakit naman hindi mo ako tinawagan? Mga ganyan, they always lean on others, no? Uh, kung mayroong lakad, lilibre mo ba ako? Mga ganong tipo. <laughs> there, are other pe- there are people who are like that, no? even for young adults. Okay? Next. Okay, the entrances and exits, exits of people. Okay? There's an open door. Okay? Ito yung open door, everyone is accepted regardless of spiritual, ito yung inclusive, social, mental, physical. No? Uh, we want, of course, Methodists. We Methodists really believe on open doors, no? open minds, open hearts, no? No? and open doors. No? We open door, everyone is accepted. We, no? oh. and then there's the revolving, de- revolving door. No, everyone leaves, and immediately later, even or eventually, no, the revolving door. Alam natin ang revolving door. Papasok ka, pero actually, pag nagrevolve yung door, lalabas ka rin. <laughs> and then there's the sliding door. No, dito help maintain single adults in the church and allow them to leave to minister. This is a good, uh, ano, uh, door, the sliding door. Si papasok sila and then you equip them, help them, and then you allow them to leave to minister the sliding doors. That okay? Uh, integration is the goal. Ayan. Of course, it is our hope no, that people that we minister to as young adults will stay with us. So integration, they are able to find a belongingness, a certain belongingness with our group and with our church. So, and it is the goal for most people to eventually leave the ministry or mainstream into the church. Iba talaga, when they are equipped, they live and of course, they are young adults, they live to do ministry or they they uh, are integrated to the mainstream into the church. No? Hindi na lang sila sa young adult involved ministry, kundi sa ibang ministries of the church. And it would be nice to see them grow and become church officials. And then they take, they take church leadership positions. Okay? No? Maganda yan, no? Yung, yung bang salingkit dati, asawa lang siya ng isang membro, pero nung uh, involved sa young adult ministry, magiging leader ng church later on. Ganyan nangyari dun sa bayaw ko, no? Iisa lang yung sister ko, yung bayaw ko, naging uh, ano, uh, Roman Catholic siya, pero nag-Methodista siya, ano, napangasari yung sister ko. And then later on, naging leader siya ng United Methodist Men, nung nag-ano na siya. No, naging UMM na siya, no? naging national officer pa <laughs> ng UMM because, of course, they, he has taken leadership positions. And they mix with other types of people sa loob ng church. Hindi na lang sayang adult nakikimix sila, kundi sayang mga, mga women, mga men, mga mature, mga young people. No? And then they become comfortable in the total life of the 
church. That is our goal. Yeah, that's our goal in the young adult ministry. Okay. Uh, ito yung obtaining senior pastor support. No? How your senior pastor can help no? the young adult. Okay. Meet with him. Meet with the pastor regularly for him. Give him materials. Ask for help, budget, promotion, and ask him to speak. No? Uh, involve me in pastor. No? The, feature the pastor at a major event. No? No? And then interview board members at a meeting or class and send mailings to them and talk to them at church. Ito yung mga major large churches where in the sometimes senior pastor hindi nyo nakakausap, hindi nyo nakakasama. So, the senior pastor. But of course, in, us, uh, in the medium churches that where mostly we have medium and small churches, eh, hindi na ganito. Yung the senior pastor is really involved no? in the ministry of young adult. Okay, plan intentionally. Oh, ito na yan. Yung planning an event. When you plan an event, no? yung adult event, first is yung location. No? That's what, dapat very clear kayo kung saan. No? On off the grounds of the church or inside the church grounds or the format, attendance of meets scheduling, kung ano ba to, social event ba to, outreach pitch event ba to, ito ay discussion event ba to, Bible study ba to, then the seating, no? yung facilities, no? mga upuan, mga tables and chairs, and then the teaching style, no? teaching style, topics, discussion, opportunities, question answers, no? leadership, of course, sino matuturo, no? and then the refreshments. Simple in, and, and inexpensive uh, refreshments. Okay. Okay. Correct the misconceptions. No, yung process of the ministry. Importante yung ano eh, Ang nagsasabi ng tapat ay nagsasama ng maluwat. Dapat clear. Where are they stated and often and are they known? Ano ba yung purpose ng yung adult ministry nyo? Yon. Doon sa model natin, it can be a combination, but there is always a dominant emphasis. Like if it's a discipleship model, is it a social model, is it a recreation model or a outreach model? Now the image of the uh, the image of the ministry <laughs> and single adults. Nakita na natin to kang ina. No? <laughs> okay, let's not do that again. We looked at the uh, Singles are usually lonely. Singles are usually hurting and needy. Lovers, singles are usually looking for someone. Livers, singles are usually uncommitted. And livers, uh, singles can be effective ministers. No, this can be images for young adults and young single uh, or single. Okay, ito provide balanced teaching. Okay, two types of teaching needed. Okay, personal topics. Relationships, self-esteem, sexuality, career choice, premarital issues, or separation and divorce, single parenting, others. It can be spiritual topics, of course. Salvation, faith, commitment, prayer, discipline, growth. Okay? But provide balanced teaching, personal and spiritual. Okay? Next. Provide balance opportunities. Yan. Ito yung sinasabing ko na make a combination model. No? You should have spiritual opportunities like retreats. There should be relational office opportunities like uh, parties. There should be educational opportunities like lectures and seminars. And then there should be social opportunities like outings. No? Ganyan. No? Okay? Then, Budget and finances. Okay. Of course, when you have an organization, you always have a budgetal, budgetary need. So any ministry worth having is worth funding. Educate the board, no? And then realize single adults will give to the cause, of course. No? And being part of the church budget is best. There should be a budget for young adult ministries. 
Okay? Take offering, no? Promotion. Ito yan, yung promotion. Uh, inside the church, flyers, bulletins, dramas, posters, uh, videos, emails. Yan, in this day and age of social media, ang dali-daling mag-promote. No? And promote outside the church, website, posters, business cards, newspaper ads, radio, yan, brochures, counseling, shopping centers, laundry hats. Yan, no? yung promotion yan. Make it known. Sa ating mga Pilipino, importante yung word of mouth. <laughs> yan. I invite a friend. Yeah. Bring a friend. Then, uh, uh, medyo mumahaba yata. Medyo tapusan muna natin doon. No? Tapusan muna na natin doon. So let's end that and then continue next week with some other models. <laughs>